Peter and Katie, okay, from the minute I drove up, I've never seen an exterior of a house like this, and it's so you guys. It is classical and inventive and whimsical and colorful and out of the box and yet completely perfect. There was nothing here. You, you built this all from nothing? Right, we started from scratch. There was a, a little old ranch house here that had to oh, go away. Oh, the little old ranch house. Yeah, that had to go away, but yeah. it was on the perfect spot. So we built right where the old house was. And also, I noticed there's, when you walk in, there's no staircase. The well, way you, know you come I, into this great hallway. I, I like to keep the staircase away from the main hall. I think it's more interesting when you walk through a house to discover the stair and then discover new views as you ascend the stair. And the color here. Mm -hmm. Purple tile Purple. in the entry hall. You always push where color, I think, should go and pattern and Look, I mean, this is, to me, says everything. Look yeah. at these sconces, look at the color, the texture. Yeah. Where did you get this? We, we got this at auction as is at Christie's. Can we stop for a minute? Oh, because, yeah. Katie, this is such your signature of different fabrics on different sides, whether it's a chair or a curtain. I'm obsessing over this right now. How do you come up with the idea to do this? Well, because of the, the situation in the room where one side is the kitchen, one is the dining room, these oh. are the doors, so we can close these. And so I thought, why not have two different fabrics that are complementary? They're so pretty together, and um, you know, why not embellish a little bit? Don't even get me started about all the lighting fixtures in here, not just above me, which I'm going crazy. Everyone is more unique than the last, but this is so you, the amazing lamp, base and shade relationships the way you've paired them because this didn't come like this obviously right no you know this actually this is a fabric that uh, i bought in hawaii in a um vintage store in really a, a, really a junk shop so here's where we put the staircase at the north side of the house i've never seen a staircase like this tell me what was your thought process behind this this is so creative I'm overwhelmed. Well, Peter and I took a trip to Berlin with Peter's head designer in his office about three years, no, four years ago. When the house was still being built, right? Yes. Had, okay. Yes, when it was still being built. And we found Scrafito when we were uh, seeing a lot of architecture. And based on that, Peter said, oh, I think this is what we should do, this idea, this is what we should do for the stairway. So based on that, I developed this wallpaper. So this is an abstracted Chippendale design. It's incredibly delicate, so it's very modern in the dimensions. Um, and then it comes down to what appears to be a solid column. Yeah. But actually it's just a oh. shell. It literally is like looking inside a shell. So it's a modern thing, right? But it has historical influence. Should we go upstairs? Are you kidding me? I can't wait. Okay. All right, Katie, I'm appreciating the red piping with the purple sisal. Yeah, I do it. I do it mostly when I, whenever I do a solid uh, carpet, I always usually do a contrasting color. So this is plaster. A, a plaster cast collection, right? Why do I have this? Because I'm so inspired by Sir John Soane's House Museum in London, oh. my favorite house museum in the world. And it has layers of collections like this. And so you wanted to bring it into your own home. Yes. and. Is this a skylight? What's going on up here? This is incredible. This is a ley light, which sits about three feet below the actual skylight. Uh-huh. 
And these panes of glass uh, have actual oh. stickers on them. And my what? one job in the construction was to place the stickers on just so. You did these stickers? Well, they Is were designed in my office. The patterns, they were laser cut. The colors were chosen, but I had to... Your DIY Peter at heart, I knew it. Stick like, them like, on. How did you do it? Yeah, they with? built a scaffolding and the workmen brought down sheet by sheet of glass and I was given a template to line them up. Were you nervous? I think it, it, they made it idiot proof for me, basically. Be still my heart, the master bedroom. <laughs> it does not disappoint. It's like a jewel box in every room, you guys. Look at this rug. Don't tell me you got it at auction. I got it at auction. It's like you customized everything though, but you find these things at auction. But you know, actually this is the first thing we bought for the house, these valances. They were two flat panels from Nora Ginsburg. Remember her? Yes. From the Winter Antique yes, Show. Yes, I do. And so we saw those, and I think it was Peter's idea. He said, you can make those into valances and we checked the measurements is way before the house was even designed. And yeah. so we kind of built this room around those valances. I think we built the whole house for those valances, actually. <laughs> this, actually, this fabric is from my store 22 year, 26 years ago. Oh, my gosh. Um, on Lexington Avenue. It's yes. a Turkish fabric. I and remember I it so well. And you add a bolt. And you over. just paired it with this antique. Then I bought it at auction. Stop it. <laughs> and I noticed this before. I just love this so much because you were telling me how you create your garden so much from seeds. Yeah, so here are all my seeds. Everywhere I look, it's just a reiteration of how much you both marry history, detail, passion, color, happiness. It's just such a happy house. Okay, can I just be a 16-year-old girl named Gigi? <laughs> like, this is, she's got her TV, the remote. This is heaven. It's the best bedroom in the house. It's the best bedroom. And look at the monogram and of course your signature trim. So look at this. Here's bar relief done by the uh, sculptor Abigail Tulis of Teddy chasing a rabbit. Teddy and the rabbit. Although in reality he's never caught a rabbit, so this is sort of his fantasy. Teddy's looking really good in this. <laughs> yeah. I yeah. love Teddy. Oh, thank you so much for having us here. It's just beyond magical. Well, thank you for visiting. Yeah, thank you for coming. <laughs> <laughs>